Hello everyone. Today we are going to develop an exercise on viscosity and we are going to start. It says, in a region far from the entrance, fluid flow passes through a circular pipe in one dimension. And the velocity of the laminar flow profile is given by this equation. This equation that also appears here in the image is exactly the same. Where capital R is the radius of the pipe, this is important. This capital R comes to be a distance. Okay, capital R comes to be distance which is the radius. From where? From the center of the pipe to the wall of the pipe. That is capital R and lowercase r is radial distance from the center of the pipe. What does this lowercase r mean? This lowercase r is like a coordinate. If you had your Cartesian coordinates you would have x, y and z, they do not mean a distance. They simply mean that they are coordinates, this lowercase r is exactly that. A coordinate in a radial system, that is lowercase r. So do not confuse lowercase r with capital R. We continue. Lowercase r is the radial distance from the center of the pipe and u max is. The maximum flow velocity. Which occurs at the cent. Here we have a velocity profile and in this. Velocity profile we clearly see that a maximum is the maximum velocity. These arrows which are the vectors represent. The velocity of the fluid along the pipe where we know that by theory in the walls the velocity is zero and the maximum velocity where it occurs here as you see in the center of the pipe. That would be a maximum. Only this single vector that is in the center of the pipe occurs in the center here it asks you to obtain a ratio of the drag force applied by the flow the section of the pipe of length L. They are saying that this pipe has a length L and b the value of the drag force for the flow of water at 20 degrees celsius with a radius equal to 0.08 meters a pipe length of 30 meters a maximum velocity of 6 meters per second and a dynamic viscosity equal to 0.0010 kilograms per meter per second these units also represent pascals per second which is exactly the same thing dynamic viscosity so to develop this problem we have to remember some concepts Important data. First we know by theory that pressure. This is equal to force over area. Okay. And we also know by theory that shear stress is equal to force over area. What is the difference? These equations are practically the same. If we have a small area here. Let's leave two here to be able to explain this. This comes to be an area A. This is an area at this force that appears here as a force perpendicular. Okay, to the area, this relationship gives me this normal pressure. When the force is tangential to the area that is where I get what? The shear stress. And when we work with viscosity we have to work with shear stress. And you know by formula also that the shear stress is equal to it comes to be equal to the dynamic viscosity multiplied by the velocity gradient. In this case, since we are working with a radial pipe, it would be the differential of the velocity with respect to the radius. Okay, what is the problem asking me? What the problem is asking me is the drag force. And what is the drag force? That force is going to be the one that is going to drag an area through the fluid thanks to what? The shear force. So we have to calculate this force here. Okay, we are going to call that drag force FD, drag force. If you simply clear this drag force, which is what? The problem is asking me, we will have the following, which is going to be the shear force. Multiplied by the area. Remember that this area is tangential to the force. This is the one we are going to use. So we have to calculate both that area and that shear force. We multiply it and automatically we already have the drag force. Very well, what we are going to do first is calculate the area, which is the simplest thing. I am going to draw the pipe here again as if it were in three dimensions. Okay, here we have it, here is the velocity. It is all a velocity profile, as it appears, not here. We just put a vector and we know that it is going in that direction. What the area would be. The area remember here I put it again, it is where the force is tangential. If the flow goes in this direction it is assumed that the force will also be going in that direction. 
So the area would be all of this here. It would be the entire cylinder that is enveloping the flow of water, that entire area would be the area. How do I calculate that area? I calculate that area in the following way. It would be the perimeter of the pipe, the perimeter multiplied by the length. If you multiply the perimeter by the length you will have this whole shell that is. Here and that will be the area that I need to be able to calculate the arresting force. Okay, some people get confused and calculate the area of the circumference or the circle. That is not the case, it is what it surrounds, what it will drag. That is why I have drawn this here, it is fair. Mind this, this theoretical basis which tells us that the force has to be perpendicular to the area. Then the area would be the following, 2 pi times r multiplied by the length. Because this turns out to be the length l, and what is here turns out to be the radius. Remember that it is capital R, this here we can calculate. We know pi, we know the radius which is 0.08 data of the problem we also know the length. How much does this come to me? That comes to me 15. 08m2. That would be the value of the area, then this area that is here where you are going to replace it. You are going to replace it here in this part of the equation. Very well, we already have half of our equation. Now we need to calculate the shear stress and the shear stress is given by this equation here that we initially wrote. Perfect. This value of mu which is the viscosity. We already know the dynamics. What we would need to do is calculate the velocity gradient and this velocity gradient is a function of the radius. We know that here the problem is telling us that the velocity of the laminar flow profile is given by this equation here. Okay which is the same one that I have down here, so we are going to rewrite that velocity. That velocity is given by the maximum velocity multiplied by 1R2 that runs is the coordinate over capital R squared which is the radius of the pipe. Very well, how do we explain this so that it is better understood? Observe here, in the center of the pipe, in the center of the pipe, how much is the radius in the center of the pipe? The radius is zero. If you replace zero here, what do you have left? Zero over R2 is zero. One minus zero is one. One times the maximum velocity is the velocity. That means that when the water flow is passing through the center, the velocity is the maximum velocity. Now if I add to this lowercase r, which is the coordinate I put the value of the radius. That is, capital R, where would we be? We would be here. No longer in the center like the previous case, we would be here, no. If I put capital R, it would be r2 over r2, which is equal to 1. 1, 1, 0, oh, oh, by the maximum speed 0 means that the speed is 0. So here the speed is 0 here at this point the speed is maximum. Just so you realize that this speed profile is relating to me how this speed is varying with respect to the radius. That is what this equation here means, now we are going to proceed to derive it. Derivative of the speed with respect to the radius. Because that is what they ask me here in this part of the equation, what would it be equal to? This comes to be a constant, it is still maximum speed. Which is data from problem 6 meters per second, this one, the derivative comes to be zero, it is not counted. Here the derivative would be 2r over r2. Okay, that would be the derivative of the speed with respect to the radius. Very good, now what are we going to do next? We are going to replace where we want to calculate the drag force in what part of the pipe is the drag force going to be. The drag force is going to be exactly on the walls of the pipe and in the walls of the pipe how much is the value of the radius. In the walls of the pipe the radius has to be 0.08, that is, capital R is worth. Therefore here we are going to replace for that value of capital R which would be like this. Derivative of the speed with respect to the radius is going to have to be equal to minus 2 the maximum speed by R over R2. Why did I put R instead of lowercase r? Because I'm interested in the drag and where the drag will be. Remember here again that it comes to be the tangential force to the area. This is eliminated with this and finally I'm going to write it here. 
the derivative of the speed with respect to the radius what is going to be equal to. This is going to be equal to minus 2 multiplied by the maximum speed that the problem gives me tells me that it is 6 meters per second multiplied by 6 this over the radius what is 0 0.08 now. Operating we will have that this is equal to 150 okay this is equal to 150. Where are you going to replace this? This here we are going to replace it here. Okay, we replace it there. Finally, putting everything together we will have the following. The shear stress is going to be equal to mu which is 0 0.0. 010 pascals per second or kilogram over meter per second multiplied by 150 what is this equal to? This is equal to 0 0.15 pascals. Since the units of shear stress are also given in units of pressure. Now I am going to multiply the values that I have obtained to obtain. The drag force which is the shear stress of 0 0.15 multiplied by the area that we calculated previously which is 15.08 meters and operating this I will obtain that the drag force is equal to 2.262 n. And that would be the answer to the problem. This would be the answer to the question. The relationship of the concordance stress, we can replace this equation here. Here too, and for question B it would be 2.26 Newton. Well friends I hope this video is helpful. You know that if you have any questions or queries you can write to me in the comments. Greetings all.